Welcome to Gospel Tangents, the best source for Mormon history, science, and theology. I'm Rick Bennett. I'm excited to have Hans Matson on the show. He was instrumental in the Swedish rescue mission back in 2013, in which Elder Turley and Elder Marlon Jensen flew to Sweden to talk about uh, sticky church topics with church members. So he's also the author of Truth Seeking, and so we're going to be talking about his uh, kind of autobiography in this book here. And um, so uh, you're going to want to check this out. So this first conversation, we're going to talk about his calling as a general, the first uh, Swedish general authority. So check out our conversation. All right. Well, welcome to Gospel Tangents. I'm excited to have, uh, let's see, how do I introduce you? Kind of an internet superstar. Is that is that a good word for you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, some people might not recognize you, so tell us who you are. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, my name is Hans Matson, and uh, I'm a Swedish um, uh, citizen, and uh, I used to be holding a call as a 70, uh, as an area toward a 70 from 2000 and, and on to 2005. And during this time, I met a lot a lot of good high position members of the church well fantastic so you know we've had um a lot of international guests i've had uh, simon southerton from australia and ugo perego from italy uh, but they've always come to utah and so it's made it easy but you are actually in spain and i'm trying to figure out how how a swedish guy ended up in spain how did that happen well, if you live in Sweden for 60 years and you see a lot of rain and wind and cold winters, you, you, it's not hard <laughs> to understand <laughs> that sunshine and warmth and nice winters are pretty good. And, mm -hmm. and actually, the reason is more or less my health. I had some heart problems and, and other things that my doctor recommended me to, to go to a warmer country so i did oh wow with my so, wife <laughs> yes now you're, you're are you on the canary islands is that right no i'm not i'm oh. i'm uh, i'm in on the mainland and the southeast it's about six hour south of barcelona okay mm. and so do you speak spanish uh no <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I, we live in a community with people from uh, Germany, from Netherlands, from Norway, from uh, England. And so more or less when we talk, we talk uh, English. Oh, okay. And, 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 uh, and my wife is much better in Spanish than I am. So she, she is on the front line when we have to speak Spanish. <laughs> I don't know. That would be tough for me. We probably use Google Translate as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, cool, cool. Well, you've got a book. Um, the um, tell us about your book. I think you have a copy of it there. Oh yeah, this is a, a book called Truth Seeking, uh -huh. and uh, it gives uh, the story from. Um, about my life and how I uh, experience uh, uh, my, my family, uh, the church, and why I have got some problem and why I left the church, really. And this includes meeting with Marlon Jensen, includes Swedish Rescue, mm -hmm. it includes uh, New York Times and uh, yeah, things like that. And uh, I just wanted to say also that Christina Hanke is the one who I've written the most of it, but I talked to her. She interviewed me a lot, so okay. this is the way it worked, yeah. So you've got that in multiple languages, I believe, too. You've got it in English and Swedish, and what other languages? You know, actually, people just contacted me and asked, can I translate it into German? Can I translate it into Spanish? Can I make an audio book of it, you know? So I said, I don't have any money for that project. But I said, no, 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 you've done so much for, for so many people, and I just wanted to do something. And I said, well, that, just go ahead. Mm -hmm. So I, I've been really blessed. 
Wow. I, I used to say to my wife, that's a blessing for tidings. I used to pay. <laughs> the windows of heaven opens. And, yeah. But the only thing is the money is not coming in, but the books are selling through Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, and I really appreciate you sending me a copy. Um, as, I, as I said before the interview started, I, I can't figure out where I placed it, but I, it, it's an interesting book. So, um of course, my current interview right now is with uh, Dr. Matt Harris and, and Dr. Newell Bringhurst, and we talk about the Swedish rescue, um, which you had a major part of there, and uh, so definitely want to talk about that. Um, as we go here, um, I think, so s some of my listeners I think are going to be very familiar with you, others are not. Um, but can you give us just kind of a thumbnail sketch of, of how you were in the church and how you became a general authority and and that sort of thing? Yeah, I, I was born and raised in Gothenburg, Sweden. In Swedish, we would say Göteborg. And, and there uh, I have three brothers and a very faithful uh, father and mother. And we were really, really faithful and really believed in everything of the church and i had i served a mission in the england central mission that will that later become england birmingham mission for two years and that's how you learned english uh, yeah i tried to practice there and and uh, <laughs> you're right really and then after uh, my mission i did my military service in in sweden and uh, actually there, uh, I met uh, my future wife. She was working in the kitchen there, uh, serving the militaries. And uh, well, that's a wonderful story. You can read all about it in the book. Yes. Uh, yeah. And we, we had four wonderful children. No, five. Five children. I'm so sorry, you know. Three <laughs> boys and two girls. And uh, in the church, I had callings as a branch president, bishop counselor to bishop, counselor to stake president, high councilman as a stake president, as a and uh, then we moved to Stockholm, and uh, there I was called uh, in a high councilman, but also as a counselor to the mission president, because uh, there are no stakes all over Sweden. So the northern, northern part of Sweden is the uh, districts. So that's where I, as a counselor, have to take care of them. And um, after a while, uh, I was called to visit with one general authority up at the airport of Stockholm. And um, there, I, had, I received a letter from the first presidency uh, calling me to be uh, area for the 70 and belong to the third quorum of the 70s. So that's 2000 in, in, in the early part of 2000. And then on the general conference coming up the first Sunday, April, I was uh, sustained as a 70 and Elder Holland and Marlon Jensen was the one who set me apart. And uh, from there, it's just go on. And uh, I was nervous, happy, and delightful. And uh, of course, in Sweden, I was the first Swedish area authority. And so, so uh, well, th that's a, it's a humbling experience. I remember mm -hmm. the first. You know, I remember the first meeting we 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 were being ta taught by the twelve and the first presidency, presidency and seventies uh, every year at the church office building before the conference. And uh, when I look around there, I saw uh, Brother Marriott and I saw some famous people. Elder hmm. uh, Raspan and I was called at the same time. Uh, elder, um, elder, uh, what heter han, Gittan? Ger Renlund. Okay. Yeah, they're both apostles now, but we, we right. get together. And uh, 
I thought to myself, what are you doing here? You know, you feel kind of humble. And uh, the kind of a voice from inside said, you know, uh, don't blame yourself, blame God because he's calling you. So just do what you, who you are and do the best. So that's what I felt. And of course, I had to travel in Europe mostly, even uh, uh, part of the old Eastern Bloc areas like uh, um, like Hungary, Romania, uh, 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 yeah, those countries that used to belong to Soviet Union for many years ago. And mm-hmm. then, of course, Germany, Aust- Austria, the Nordic countries. And, and uh, there were two, two different uh, mil- milieux, so to speak. The one, the one who are, uh, the church were organized and have experienced at stakes. And then, of course, you went to uh, the other countries that, that didn't know anything really. That was brand new, the missionaries for branch president and so on. So it was kind of exciting. Yeah, I'm sure that would be a very uh, humbling calling, I'm sure. So. And I, I, I guess in all those countries, is English kind of the, uh, is that what everybody speaks in, in these conferences? Is No, but there is, yeah, on the conference, I always try to speak English, and I still try. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then I have a translator to, to the, the native okay. country. Yeah. Okay. So, and I, re- <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was thinking no, of fine. a funny thing <laughs> happened, you know. Sweden used to to uh, owe our conquer Finland for seven hundred years or so, oh. and of course it, there are what they call Swedish Finns, and they they speak Swedish, you know, and they're very proud people. Mm. And and when I was there, I spoke in English and translated to Sweden. And afterward, they come about. Uh, 10, 12 people up to me and uh, asked me to speak in Swedish because uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people there speak Swedish. No, oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's just a cute little mm. story. Yeah. Well, cool. I hope you enjoyed our conversation with Hans Matson. In our next conversation, we'll talk about the final straw that led him to leave the LDS Church. Well, actually, 2015, when the church prophet said that uh, the revelation about children to same-sex marriage are not allowed to be blessed or being baptized, and when they turn 18, they are are able to be members, but then they have to uh, deny their parents' uh, what they believe and so on. And and then it, it struck me so hard that this is nothing to do with Jesus Christ because he loved children. He, he will embrace them. He will not take them away. And, and I just felt this is nothing I can support anymore. I can't do it. For those of you who are interested in the entire interview uncut without any interruptions, sign up at patreon.com slash gospel tangents and you can hear the entire interview for just five dollars a month also we have other tiers uh, if you'd like to subscribe on our website at gospeltangents.com click on the yellow subscribe button and you can uh, subscribe for ten dollars you can also do that on patreon and uh, get a pdf transcript we've also got uh, some other ones uh, for fifteen dollars and twenty dollars if you'd like to get those as well. If you're interested in individual transcripts, go to amazon.com and do a search for Gospel Tangents interview, and you can see our past interviews there in paperback form. So uh, just check out Gospel Tangents. We're always updating those. For the latest updates on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash gospel tangents, and you can see our latest updates there. We're also on Twitter at Gospel Tangents. Of course, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts at a tiny URL dot com slash gospel tangents and please uh give us a five star rating uh for those of you who listen to audio only so once again thanks for listening click here to subscribe here for a transcript and over here we've got some more of our great videos thanks again